Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do screen sharing in Teams. Screen sharing in Microsoft Teams. So here, I'm logging with this account, Bobby, and I'm going to give Chris a call. Let's call Chris. He's on Windows 7, uh, Windows 10, 005. Let's go to 005 and answer the call. Here it is. I just answered a call. No microphone. That's fine. So right now, I mean, Chris is chatting with Bobby. I'm sorry. Adam is chatting with Bobby. Let's go see if I can send any message. And let's go back to... Um, Oh five, I'm sorry. Oh six. As you can see, the message here. If I want to share my screen, or I want, if I want to share this screen with the other user, um, Adam, I can just click on this icon here. Look like a monitor. Click on it, and it gives you options to to share the desktop or to share specific windows. If you scroll down, there's more windows you can share. So I just going to share the desktops. And if I go back to the other machine, 005, I can see that Chris, uh, I'm sorry, I can see that Bobby is sharing the screen. So that's how you do screen sharing in Teams. If you don't have, if the sharing if sharing is grayed out, let's, let me go back to um, 006 again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop sharing. You can stop sharing by clicking on the stop at uh, the icon with an X. So if you trying to share and the, the share button is grayed out, that means um, it could mean that your administrator disable sharing. So you might have to contact your administrator or maybe try to restart your computer. The other, so the administrator has to go into um, Teams Administration um, Admin Center. So log into Admin Center and then choose Teams. And under Teams Meetings, there is a meeting policy under meeting policy, you can click on the global org wide default settings, or you, the administrator can add a new set, uh, add a new policy. So I'm going to choose the global policy. And if you scroll down under content sharing, screen sharing mode, make sure it's entire screen. If administrator disable, and user in the organization will not be able to share screen. And under content sharing, there's more options you can configure, like allow participant to give a request control, allow external participant to give a request control, allow PowerPoint sharing, yes, allow whiteboard on, allow sharing notes on. So this is the recommended um, settings for your organizations so that's it that's how you do screen sharings in microsoft team thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day